like there, there are these algorithms that in a way simplify the interaction between people but in the other way they also decide who you're going to talk who you're going to interact and so on so what is your thought about that aspect of the application of machine learning we have to consider a few things one is we have decided or delegated that decision to them. just like when we elect a person to go into the senate we we are giving them that opportunity to do that um, if tomorrow we all decide that we don't want to, uh, facebook to make that decision okay let's disconnect so at some point the value exchange is working to our favor meaning that i like to know what my friends are doing i like and it's okay if they push me some some advertising and i call it the value exchange uh, if you're buying a cup of coffee at starbucks and say hey, it's four dollars for uh, you know a latte or a flat white you decide if that four dollars is worth for you you make an exchange that is a value that you get as long as that value is is there uh, we are deciding to delegate that decision to those people when that value exchange is no longer there, the normal, I mean, there was um, MySpace. A lot of your generation may not remember it. It was just the thing of the, you know, the MySpace was this and that and everybody was on it. Well, after a while, the value proposition went away from people and boom, uh, they got sold, I believe, to Fox for 500 and change million. It was a huge social media thing. It was the first time of, and, and now it's nothing. It went away. It, it got eliminated. Uh, the other decision is if somebody in the past was a major media person who would shape people's opinions, uh, is that person really influencing a lot of people sitting behind the TV? Absolutely. It was. They were doing it. They're still trying to do it. Uh, but this ability to democratize the data that the information that's coming in gives us more ability to process it now here's the thing that i wanted to make it is our choice to use that data to understand that data or to disagree with it if we try to fall in okay uh, i i have 17 friends who are democrats or who are republicans who love uh, trump who hate trump who love a or hate b then i'm just going to stay in that lane that's my choice i have chosen to limit my decisions and be influenced but if I choose to expand my domain and look at other perspectives, then I have chosen to grow. I have chosen to understand more. And that is a personal choice that, that we all make. Does Facebook have a lot of power? You bet. Do we give them that power? You bet. Can we take it away? We can.